Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Robert from Cash's Treasures, and I got another video for you today. So today is, uh, I got my order in from uh, the Collector Connection. Um, is an online, and they also do live auctions as well, um, auction house. Um, I kind of figured out, uh, I found out from this company from uh, the Philly Don Sports Card Show. So they do a couple shows a year in connection with the Philly Non Sports Card Show. So um, I, that's how I found out about them. And they do a ton of great auctions. Um, so I, they just had an auction that ran um, for about three weeks, give or take a day. Um, so I saw some stuff on there that I figured I couldn't live without. So I put some bids in and I won some stuff. I lost some stuff uh, that I was looking for as well, but um, we're going to see what I was able to actually win at the end and then kind of go from there. Um, if you're interested, it's uh, the collectors connection.com and they do uh, quite a few different shows. A lot of it's sports, uh, but they also do some non-sports uh, shows as well, too. So this is uh, right here is for a July 13th show in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, which is a live auction. And they're doing some really great complete sets. So, But um, check it out if you're interested. Auction starts at 10 o'clock for this one. Um, but this is, um, you know, a card that I got in the mail from them. And uh, all-star Don money if you're interested and you go to the auction. But let's take a look what we got here. Here is my, uh, my invoice. And um, I will show you basically what I paid. Um, I'm going to take out my address. So... And show you pretty much what I was able to get. So here are the lots that I was able to get. So we'll pull them out. Um, I actually doesn't don't remember fully what I actually won, but uh, let's take a look and uh, and see what we got here. So after premiums and uh, shipping and all that kind of good stuff, uh, I paid one twenty six. So let's take a look and see what we got in here. So I'm gonna kind of pull it out of the box. Here's the box right here. Um, I'm just gonna kind of pull it out and then basically show you as, as I'm pulling it out. So let's kind of, where should we sit? Let's just take this one out here first and uh, we'll see what we got here. So here's the first thing that I grabbed out of, out of here and let's see what we have in here. Okay, so it looks like this one right here is um, Barrett and Company um, Merchant Ships of the World Complete Set. So 25 cards in here. So complete set. This is lot 567. Yes, um, looks like I paid um, 10 bucks for this. After buyer premium eleven seventy five, so awesome. Uh, Barrett Barrett and Company um, was out of uh, England. They actually made sweets, uh, so they were not a tea manufacturer um, like Brook Bond and uh, Lions and and that kind of stuff. So let's uh, see what else we got in here. There's a few. I'll open this one next. I think I know what this one is. It's kind of cool that they uh, they kind of put everything. Yep, this is exactly what I thought it was. Now, the last auction that they had, I actually won something similar. Um... I didn't show that uh, pickups uh, in a video, but let's see if I can get this out without destroying this box here. 
Okay, perfect. Here we are. And these are, so ET album stickers by Tops. Um, it's almost a full box. Let's see uh, what I paid for this. So 1982 Tops ET album stickers, full box. It says that it is a full box. So th that's interesting. Um, I guess 100 count in here. So it, yeah, it looks like there's about 100 in here. So 1982 Tops ET album stickers, full box. I paid $9 after buyer premium. I paid $10.58 for this. So awesome. Um, what I might do is uh, maybe look online and see if I can find an empty box just to change the box on this um, because it does not have a lid. But all the packs look to be super clean. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Here's what the packs look like here. Um, there is some uh, glue separation, but of course the age of the packs, uh, you're bound to get a little bit of glue separation, but so not bad at all in these packs. And for $10, uh, you definitely can't beat that. So that's the second item that I got in here. So let's uh, pull this out and we'll pull out these other things in here. And I'm assuming that uh, this one uh, card box right here, this white one, is probably multi-things inside of there. Because uh, I didn't get anything that would warrant like a super, super lot of cards. So let's open these first and see what we have in here. Let's take a look and see what this one is. Painter's tape on it. Okay, and it looks like we got some more uh, card sets here. So this is lot 570. So lot 570 is 1962 Kellogg's Veteran Motor Cars Complete Set of 16. So awesome Veterans Motor Cars Complete Set. Fun stuff there. Put that over here. We have lot 575. 575 is 1963 Kellogg's The History of Locomotion Complete Series 1. So this is Series 1. Um, I think there's actually four series in this set. Um, so this is Series 1 of lot 575. Um, let's jump back here because I forgot to give you pricing on here. So 1962 veteran cars complete set paid $5 after buyer premium paid $5 and 88 cents for that. So not bad at all in, um, the, the older sleeves. I like these sleeves versus the, um, the other ones because they fit in a two ring binder, which are more nostalgic for these older sets and these older T cards and, uh, you know, different um, cards like this. Um, and this one was uh, lot 575, 1963 Kellogg's The History of Locomotion, complete series one, paid $5 after buyer premium, paid $5.88 for this one as well. Then we have lot 621, lot 621, 1966, um, Glen Getty T, Trains of the World, complete set, uh, 25 uh, in, the, in the set, and we have Glen Getty T, Trains of the World, uh, they had quite a few different, uh, you know, train sets, and uh, they were super cool. So I figured I'd pick this up. 1966 Glen Getty T Trains of the World Complete 25 card set. Paid $5 after buyer premium. Paid $5.88. Super cool on that one as well. Then we have uh, Lot 1015, uh, 1984 Players Tom Thumb Wonders of the Ancient World, complete set of 32. I, I, I think I might actually have this set. 
but um, I wasn't 100% sure, so I picked it up anyway. It's super cool. Um, if nothing else, I'll sell the set and keep the um, the actual um, binder pages in it because I love these uh, two ring binders. Um, it, it's so weird, and I don't know why people do this. I, I guess it's cool to keep it together, but they use staples. I hate this. I have so many other tea and tobacco card sets that I've got in different lots, and the sets have always been together with staples in, in the sets. Even in the two ring binders, they've had staples in them. So it's like in a two ring binder and you're trying to look through it and everything's stapled together and, you know, all that kind of crazy shit. I don't know. But uh, so this is um, 1984 Players Tom Thumb Wonders of the Ancient World Complete Set 32 Cards. And this one I paid $7 for. After buyer premium was $8.23. So a decent set there. Like I said, I might have it. I'm not 100% sure. But um, if not, cool. If I do, then uh, then we'll, we'll probably sell the set and uh, keep the, the, um, the binder pages. So let's see what we have in this one here. Once we get open in here, let's see what we got. Okay. Looks like another another Tom Thumb set. And see, I, I'm not a fan of these. Like, that's what I said. Like, these um, pages, I like the older style to ring um, because it's a smaller footprint binder. I, I just like them better than these bigger ones. So this is lot 1036, uh, 1987 players, Tom Thumb, History of Britain's Railways, complete set of 30. Awesome stuff here. So complete set of 30, a little bit of wear on these, but um, they're still a decent set. And I knew I did not have this set, so this is a fun set to add. I might even, uh, if, if I do have this set, then what I'll do is I'll sell this set and I'll change these cards from this these pages into these pages because these are your just your standard um, uh, baseball card or non sports card style style pages. So uh, lot ten thirty six looks like um, nineteen eighty seven players Tom Thumb history of Britain's railways complete set thirty cards. I paid $5 after buyer premium, paid $5.88 for it. So, decent stuff. We'll take those and put those over here. And then let's take a look and see what we have in this box. There's a bunch of different goodies in here. So, we'll take out these down here on the end first. We'll take a look and see what we got here. Not a fan of this one. I don't even really care about that set. And I already have the Jaws 3D. Um, this was the only set that I was really worried about because it did have the sticker sets in there as well. So awesome return to Oz set. Um, I'll most likely uh, be doing a video on those, which were super cool. But uh, I just really wanted the return to Oz set. I do have an unopened sealed box that I did picked up. This is lot 1085. Lot 1085, three tops movie tie-in sets. I paid $10 for the three sets. And to me, um, you know, this Return to Oz set is worth every penny of that. It just by itself, if you pick it up on eBay, is probably about 20 bucks, you know, just for that set alone. So after buyer premium, I paid $11.75. So super stoked to get this one because it does have uh, the stickers and everything else in there with it. And they also have the, um, the different pack art. So it has the, the – they had four different packs uh, with four different characters on it. Um, and I was, I was a huge uh, and still am a huge Ferusa Bulk fan. 
and this was one of her very first movies, and uh, she was uh, great in this movie. Um, was a traumatizing, kind of scary movie when you were little, but uh, awesome stuff, and um, I figured I can't go wrong. I'll definitely sell these off. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and if anybody is interested in the um, you know, Jaws 3D. I might even just keep these and, you know, add them to my 1500 subscriber giveaway. So, well, which that's probably what I'll do with both of these sets. So, cool. Great addition to my collection Return to Oz set with everything in it. So, and let's take a look. Now, I picked up a new set of these. Uh, lot 1032. Um, 1986 Ting Uranus Strikes Complete Set. This is from the Roxanne Tozier Collection. 30 ca 36 card set. The only thing that it's missing is it's missing the pack. Now, recently I did sell one of these to uh, Mr. Retro Hero. Um, so... Um, I just figured for the price that it was, I'd add it back to my collection. I'm just sad that I don't have the pack to go with it. Um, lot 1032, um, without the pack, I paid $5 after buyer's premium. I paid $5 and 88 cents for this. So I couldn't, I couldn't let somebody else take it for $5 since uh, I just sold one out. So awesome stuff good to have it back in my collection i just wish it did have the um the purple pack to go with it so and so let's take a look and this right here this is lot 438 lot 438 is 1956 gum ink adventure partial set this is a hundred card set this is 64 cards of that 100 card set. And not bad for a 1956 set. A decent number of cards in here. 64 cards out of a 100 card set. Nice condition for being 1956. Card number 100 back here in the back. A awesome, awesome set. Just cool stuff. I mean, look at that one. I mean, shark, diver. You can't go wrong, 1956 artwork, still looking beautiful after all these years. I'll probably do a video on this one as well, too. So, great, great addition uh, to my collection. Lot uh, 438, 1956 Gum Ink Adventure Partial Set, 64 out of 100. I paid $20 for this. Um, after buyer premium, I paid twenty three fifty for it. So awesome, awesome set. Great to add it to my collection. So let's take a look and see what we got here as the second one. The second one. This is like the eighth or something. I don't know. I can't even count. I guess lot eleven twenty six. Lot eleven twenty six. We're getting into um, Allen and Genter. This is a twenty ten. Allen and Genter, um, Creatures of Legend and Myth, complete set of nine cards. Um, so let's see. Okay, so, yep, there's nine cards in there because they are all in penny sleeves and top loaders. So 2010, Allen and Genter, Creature of Legends and Myth, complete set. Looks like Santa Claus right there on the front of it. Awesome. I paid $5 for this. After buyer premium, paid $5.88. Awesome, awesome addition to my collection. And I love that Alan and Genter are still doing those smaller cards, even after all these years. So we have um, lot 1125. Okay. This is a 2009 Allen and Genter's World's Biggest Hoaxes, Hoodwinks, Bamboozlers. Complete set of 20 pieces, 20 cards. I paid $5 for this. After buyer premium, paid $5.88. So 
This is an awesome set. I'll definitely be doing a um, a video on this. And the number one card that you see on there is we got Charles Ponzi. And we all know uh, the Ponzi scheme, the period, period, the pyramid, you know, scheme and everything else like that. So that's an awesome set. I'll definitely be doing a video on. And for sure, no doubt, doing a video on uh, creatures of legends and myth. So let's take a look down to the last couple in here. We have in here, we have this one right here, lot 177. Lot 177, 174, sorry. This is lot 174, which is circa 1930s Eskin Holpus, the post-war period. 31 total cards, but there's only two different styles in here. So there's 31 cards in here, but only two different cards. And the reason that I picked this up is you'd be like, Rob, why would you buy 31 and only have two different cards? So I'm assuming if they're equal amounts, one's going to have one more. But I'm assuming there's 15 of one and 16 of the other. Um, give or take. Hmm, sorry. A little bit tired. It's a little bit late at nighttime. I had to wait for everybody to go to bed to record this video because the uh, house was a little bit loud today. <coughs> so the reason I got it is because no one was bidding on this 1930s cards. Even if nothing else, I can sell them for a couple bucks for a few of them. Say a dollar for the two pieces of each of them. I paid a dollar for this lot. After buyer premium, I paid $1.18. That's why I got 31 cards, but basically 15 and 16, you know, of each. So, makes sense to me. But now we have the last one in here, lot 1136. Lot 1136 is a 2013 Allen and Genters, the first Americans complete set of 10. And this one I paid $5 after buyer premium, $5.88. So the first American card set, um, love the Allen and Genter small tobacco style. They're slightly larger than tobacco style cards, uh, but they're still super cool. Um, the tobacco and tea style is really what I've been getting into a lot recently. I'm running out of room, so I've kind of, in a sense, just like everything else, I've downsized a lot of the stuff that I've been getting. So this was my complete haul from the most recent auction. And like I said, um, everything together came to after buyer premium and shipping and insurance came to $126.70. Now, if I do say so, I think I definitely made out really well picking up quite a few different sets and series, you know, for $126. I mean, if nothing else, I mean, I've paid a hell of a lot more money, you know, for less cards than this uh, for different stuff. So, I mean, this was a decent, decent pickup. Um, you know, if nothing else, I love this. I love the Uranus cards. I love the 19, you know, 56 uh, adventure cards because that's super cool as well. And, uh, you know, super, super glad to have all of this stuff in my collection so that's what came in that box then we have the Barrett and Company's uh, uh, ships of the world and we had these sets here so that's everything that I got in this auction with the box of ET stickers super stoked at everything that I got Super happy with the amount of money that I spent for everything. So, um, check it out if you're interested. I know by me telling you this, I'm going to be bidding against you in the future if you choose to jump in there. But uh, I had to show everybody what I got at this most recent uh, auction. So, 
if you definitely, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I love sharing, you know, the new stuff that I get and everything else like that. If you notice, I'm in my dining room again. Um, I just wanted more area and more space to show everything. Um, and it's a thousand degrees in here. Uh, it sucks. The lighting is great. I have overhead lighting in my dining room, so the, the lighting is great. We're in between uh, table covers, so uh, if, if you're sad that there's no table cover on my dining room table, it's because we're getting ready to change it. Um, I believe the next table cover is going to be like a tie-dye table cover if you're interested in that. So, um, But if you like this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you guys have ever bought anything from auction sites and different stuff like that, let me know what you guys picked up. You know, I'm always curious to see what people are buying from auctions. And let me know what you guys think about buyer premiums. Some of them are super ridiculous and some of them are worth it, I guess. But uh, I guess the auction site has to get their money on top of it. But uh, a buyer premium still kind of stinks. But... Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe so you get into that 1,500 subscriber giveaway. We're at 1,150, so we're well on our way to the 1,250 subscribers. We're 100 subscribers away from doing a showcase of prizes that will be at that 1,500 mark. So definitely subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Get your aunts, your uncles, or relatives to subscribe as well. Send them a link to this video so they can enjoy it also. And always remember, have fun.